And so you went and got treatment through through the VA, but it was uh, labyrinthian. I don't know if, even know if that is a word, but you went to the, the Veterans Community Project, which you toured as, as a candidate. And then I think it was like six weeks after you ended, um, I think it was your mayoral campaign, you went there seeking, seeking help. Talk about the Veterans uh, Community Project and why I think I think I read either in the book or maybe it was in the intro video um, that your work your work there has been maybe even more fulfilling than your elected office or even running for even higher office. Yeah, no, I really appreciate you asking about this. Um, it's actually my royalties from the book go to the Veterans Community Project. So any opportunity to talk about it is uh, something I really appreciate. So uh, Veterans Community Project, VCP, uh, was started by a handful of combat veterans in Kansas City. This is prior to my coming along, um, who said, you know what, we can do, we can, we can save people from falling through some of these cracks of the VA system. Now, I want to pause here and footnote this to say, like, I try not to say anything that's going to discourage people from going to the VA. I went to the VA. I get all of my medical care from the VA now. It's an outstanding experience. Now, with that said, we can all acknowledge that sometimes getting into the VA and getting the process started can be uh, difficult. And that's not the people, the fault of the people at the VA. That's some stuff that's happened in Washington. But with that said, uh, the, the folks at Veterans Community Project said, hey, what if we could do anything for our fellow vets? And they said, OK, what if we had a walk in center that any vet who came in, we could deal with any issue that is confronting them and we didn't have to worry about you know, what was their discharge status? How long did they serve? All these different questions and the shoots and ladders thing that the VA is required to do by the laws that have been set up by Congress. And so they opened that and they were treating thousands of vets a year and making a huge difference. Then the other piece and what we're much better known for is they said, well, what if we were to attack veterans homelessness in a way that just made a lot of sense? And what they did is they created a village of tiny houses with wraparound case management services and basically recreated base housing to put people back in their most recent stable and successful uh, place where they were in their life and then restarted the military to civilian transition back at day one. And so whereas most transitional housing for homelessness programs, if they can reach like a 40 percent rate of getting people transitioned back into the community and permanent housing, that's considered really good. BCP operates at an unprecedented 85 percent success mm -hmm. rate of doing that. And so I got involved because I was finding that despite, you know, having a lot of connections and that kind of thing that I wasn't sure how to get, because the thing is when you first go to the VA, oftentimes, particularly if it's for mental health, you're not in the best place to navigate a difficult system. And I wasn't. Right. And so I called VCP, who I just toured six weeks earlier. They said, come on down. I went through the outreach center, no different than any of the thousands of Kansas City vets who had done the same. They helped me with my paperwork. And a week later, I got my first therapy appointment in the VA instead of you know months, which is what it was looking like it was gonna be. And then I started hanging around. I had created a national organization before. They'd been so successful in Kansas City that communities around the country were reaching out and saying, hey, can you do it here? I was kind of giving some advice to the co-founders on that. And finally, they were like, hey man, you seem to be doing pretty well with therapy. You're not working. <laughs> You're here a lot. You wanna just come down <laughs> and work full time? And I did. So for the last three years, I've been the president of National Expansion. Uh, in that time, we have expanded our operations into the Denver area, the St. Louis area, Sioux Falls area in South Dakota. And then we've now just purchased property in Oklahoma City. We're going to start building there. And then we've got a couple other cities coming soon. 